the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Plenty of sunshine to start 2020. Good looking start on this first day of the new year. So at least we've got that going for us weather wise. The temperature's gonna be up around 50 degrees. The average high is 41. So about 10 degrees above the average there. And not the wind that we've had the past couple of days. We had some gusts 35 to 40 miles an hour last two days. Not the case today. There's enough of a breeze out there to know that it's out there, but that's about it. So we take a look at the flag that is fluttering a bit in the breeze just off the Lloyd Expressway. That's our MCF construction camera at Deaconess Gateway. And the traffic uh, is just rolling along. Good to see that. Also nice to see some northbound traffic on 41, southbound traffic not having any issues. As we look down from our Heads Construction Tower Cam and look off in the distance to downtown Evansville and a beautiful blue sky. Speaking of beautiful blue skies, there's our Bassett American RV camera. Look at to the east. It was a golden start to the day today. The sunrise, the first sunrise of 2020 was a good one. The last sunset of 2018 or 2019 was a fantastic one and I've got a couple of pictures to show you in a second. Uh, Smothers Park basking in the sunshine. I would imagine there are probably some kids running around down there. Good day to do that. And of course the kids are off school, uh, although some I think are heading back as early as tomorrow uh, in some school systems. Uh, 46 degrees right now with that south southwest wind kicking a little bit at 14 miles an hour. But at the same time it's going to be in that 5 to 15 mile per hour range throughout the day today. Can we do a temperature run? 43 degrees French Lake, 44 degrees in Lagodi. Do we have a 45 out there? Oh, I don't see it. 46 Jasper, 47 in Santa Claus, 48 Owensboro, 49 Tell City, 50 in Calhoun, 51 not to be found, but 52 degrees in Madison. Feel good to see more locations in the 50s. Wind speed wise, pretty much in that 10 to 15 mile per hour range. A lot of double digits, but lower double digits out there. As we take a look at the wind chill, and we do still have a bit of a wind chill in some areas. Feels like temperature 37 in French Lake, 39 in Lagodi, and you've got a 40 one degree wind chill right now in Vincennes. Check out this sky from last night. This is from Owensboro along the riverfront. Uh, that is Chris Conley, a storm chaser extraordinaire, but he, he was a sunset chaser last night and he takes a really cool time lapse. It's great follow, by the way, on Twitter. Mean Motion Media. You can also check out a lot of his work there too. Angela Hancock from Newburgh. That's a little darker, moodier sunset, but still a beauty. Uh, she got that last night as the sun was going down. Of course, it was still light in the sky at around 5 o'clock, so we are seeing longer days, and that's always nice, and even nicer if you get a sunset like that before you head out of the day. Live first warning, dop the radar. All is quiet. I do expect to see rain, though, first thing tomorrow morning, unfortunately. As we take a look at the bigger picture, across the region, already noticing some clouds creeping up into the Nashville area, and that's our next rainmaker, and these clouds are going to be moving in to parts of western Kentucky before the day is done. Not bringing any rain right now, but it's not too far off, as we have already South Texas catching some uh, rainfall right now. That area of low pressure that plagued us the first two days of this week has now shifted more to the east. It's bringing some snow and some wind uh, to New England, but it's not going to be a problem for us. This one is going to be our next problem, though. Take a look at Future Tracker, kind of time things out. As we go through the day today, again, a few extra clouds in play uh, later on this afternoon, Western Kentucky, as this system kind of creeps in. Partly cloudy sky tonight. Here we are just after midnight. By first thing tomorrow morning, though, a lot of clouds across the tri state, uh, thicker clouds down to the south. And here comes the rain. Not long after the sun comes up oh, behind the clouds, we're going to be noticing the rain. Best chance for rain tomorrow will be in Western Kentucky during the morning. And as we head into the afternoon and evening, now we're starting to see the the chance for rain picking up southern Illinois and also southwest Indiana. And we all have a chance for rain tomorrow morning. It's just the best chance is going to be down to the south. And then as we roll into the overnight hours and first thing on Friday morning, now we're starting to notice some heavier pockets of rain that are going to be out there as another wave kind of works its way in. Check it out. Midday on Friday, a lot of rain. And on the tail end of this, Friday night into Saturday morning, it is going to be getting cold enough. It looks like we could be seeing a little snow mixing in with that rain. And I wouldn't be surprised if first thing Saturday morning, north of 64, we had a little dusting of snow as the temperatures get much colder as we head into the weekend. Rainfall amounts plentiful in a lot of areas, I think better than an inch for most of us, and kind of like the dousing that we had this past weekend. A temperature right around 50 degrees for a high today, easily the best day of the week with a southwest wind shifting to the south at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. So looking good on January 1. January 2 and 3, not so much. Highs will still be in the 50s, so we're looking nice and mild there, but with a lot of rain on the docket, 
As we headed to the weekend, wind's going to start to pick up. It's going to be breezy over the next three days, but it's going to be downright windy Saturday and Sunday. That's going to be a cold wind, too, on Saturday. As again, we could be seeing a little bit of snow first thing in the morning. And then we are going to be dry on Sunday, so that's going to be the better of the two days over the weekend and about 10 degrees warmer with that high in the upper 40s. And then as we head into next week, you can see Monday and Tuesday, 47 and 45, a little above the average for this time of the year. So yeah. nothing brutally cold out there, Gretchen, which I think is fantastic Me because too. a lot of times, you know, the first day of the new year, you're talking about wind chills around zero. Zero, if not below zero. Right. Not the case for the next seven days. And I think you need to keep wearing those suspenders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got the, well, it is Roaring 20s 2.0. Yes. Where's your flapper hat? It's on the daybreak set over there. On over there. I yeah. know, I need to put it on. All right, sure. we'll be right back.